Alan Rinsler is a freelance editor and consultant. He holds a degree in English literature from Harvard College and has edited New York Times bestsellers and other titles that have sold millions of copies. Alan has worked as an editor and publisher for more than 46 years in roles such as vice president, acquiring editor, and developmental editor at major publishing houses such as Simon & Schuster, Macmillan, and Holt. He regularly teaches workshops for organizations such as New York University and the San Francisco Writers Conference. You can learn more about Alan at www.alanrinsler.com, including reading his blog on that site. Alan can be reached at alan at alanrinsler.com. It's amazing how many submissions a publisher receives from an agent or from not an agent every day of the week. I mean, dozens every day, thousands over the year, and very, very few of them are ever acquired. Very few of them are really what the publisher is looking for, the individual editor. And there aren't that many editors, one should know. It's not a big business. So generally speaking, an editor wants to work with an agent that they know, who's provided them good books in the past or good proposals, whom they trust, and who an, an agent who knows what they like and what they're looking for. Obviously, there are some editors who are specialists in memoir or fiction or mysteries or science fiction or cookbooks. So an agent knows that. It's their job to know that. Uh, I know when I was uh, at, at, at Josie Bass recently, I, I would get submissions for cookbooks when, when we, we didn't publish cookbooks, you know, at all. Or books about uh, chemistry textbooks. So we didn't publish chemistry textbooks. So therefore, an agent is, is really the person who uh, understands the changing characters and personalities and personnel of a company and knows which editor is looking for what. Having said that, as, as with everything else, there are, there are exceptions. And sometimes uh, an editor such as myself, who's always looking for books, always looking for books. You know, I wake up with acquisitions anxiety. I'm always looking for a book. That, that's been doing that for so long. It's, it's just the way I see the world. So I'm reading the newspaper and I'm seeing something that interests me. So I may phone up that person and say, would you like to write a book? Or I meet someone at a party. Or I read a magazine article written by somebody in a journal that's kind of academic, but maybe this writer could convert that to a more of a non-academic style so it could be understood by the general public, which is what I'm doing. Uh, so, so there are exceptions to that, and, and not all, most but not all, um, books that are purchased for publication do come through agents. You know, they, they definitely have a role, and I urge, uh, as a general rule of thumb, yes, you need to have an agent. And I, and I say that with some ambivalence because agents have always been my best friends and worst enemies because they want to get the best deal possible. Uh, and whereas I'm always looking for the new writer who maybe doesn't have an agent, I can make a little bit of a better deal because it's, you know, it's all about, you know, negotiation. My job is to pay as little as possible and the agent's job is to get me to pay as much as possible.